let's talk about government. Montana has a citizen legislature. Regular citizens serve as your lawmakers. None of us are professional politicians. We are ranchers, nurses, teachers, lawyers, pipe fitters, ranchers, computer geeks, ranchers, <laughs> really a lot of ranchers. <laughs> of the three branches of government, the legislature is the branch closest to the people. It's the branch of the people. The great thing about the legislature is that anyone, any of us can be a legislator. And the unfortunate thing about the legislature is that anyone can be a legislator. 100 in the House of Representatives, 50 in the State Senate, meet in Helena every two years for a regular legislative session that lasts no more than 90 days, after which we come back to our regularly scheduled lives with additional responsibilities as elected officials. For January through the end of April, we leave our families, our careers, our friends and neighbors, our pets. That's my kitty cat, Fitzy, right there. We move to Helena and we meet six days a week and together decide what will become state law that applies to everyone in Montana. We take an oath of office and then get three committee assignments for committee meetings that go sometimes eight, 10, 12 hours a day, sometimes longer, in which we listen to individual citizens, lobbyists, staff, state agencies, everyone, considering ideas in the form of bills. We each become experts in the subjects and policy considered in our respective committees. The learning curve is steep. Some describe the process of learning about state laws and the legislative process, about state agencies and how rules are implemented, like trying to drink from a fire hose. And then we consider individual bills. A bill is an idea for a law. It's an idea. In Montana, each bill proposes one single issue. Last session, more than 2,471 bills were requested, 1,187 considered on issues like school funding, beer and wine licenses, farmers markets, everything. Some legislators bring their own ideology and ideas for laws, but many more bring your ideas. We hear everything from very weighty issues like nuclear power to far more lighthearted ideas like hunting with spears or naming a state dinosaur or a state soil. You might think making policy is dry and boring, but it isn't. It can be agonizing. The devil is in the details. We consider specific and difficult issues. How much mercury is allowed in your drinking water? Whether 10-year-olds can hunt without taking a hunter safety course? Whether buffalo should be shot if they leave Yellowstone? But our only constitutional duty in that regular session is to pass a balanced budget for the state for the next two years. State government lives within its means, just like your household does. We passed a $10 billion budget for 2016-17. This four-inch binder is one bill, House Bill 2, the state budget. Only during session, remember that's for no more than 90 days every two years, each Montana legislator receives a fabulous salary of $82.64 a day. Don't spend it all in one place. And per diem, $112, which pays for that rental place in Helena. We don't do it for the money. And we cannot be career politicians, and not just because of, at most, $7,400 salary every two years. We have term limits, no more than eight years in the House or Senate in a 16-year period. The House averages 30 new people every session, a 30% turnover. You should participate in your citizen legislature. You may not think of yourself as political. I never thought I'd be in politics either. But each of us has life experience, professional expertise, enthusiasm for an issue. Remember that legislators are not experts on all subjects. We need to hear from you. You care about your kids' school and teachers. Maybe you care about hunting and fishing in your favorite spots, or about a loved one fighting cancer who wants to participate in a drug trial, or about dog breeds. Policy about all of this is made at the state level. You should participate because your state representative may have the exact opposite political beliefs as you do. Do you trust that person to vote your interests? Can you have a conversation with your representative or senator? 
you can encourage us to vote on an issue and not hold fast to philosophical or political differences. If you doubt your power as an individual, don't. In some hearings, hundreds of people come to testify or to fill the Capitol to show support for an issue or to oppose an issue. You can find your own legislator in the hallways and tell him or her your position, nicely, please. If you don't speak up, silence implies consent. And if not the state legislature, participate or serve you, yourself, more locally. Our Bozeman School Board, the city or county commission, service or fraternal organizations, work or school groups, you can work on policy and not necessarily be in politics. I personally kind of progressed to the legislature. First I became part of my neighborhood association, then served on the Bozeman Planning Board and the Zoning Commission. I went to the legislature to testify on a bill. I made a suggestion that ended up in the bill and realized that I'd just written state law and that even I could be a legislator. I love the work of the legislature. I love the policy, not the politics. After the regular session, helping constituents, you, and working on policy has become my full-time volunteer job. I get calls all the time on everything from water rights, voter registration, health care, that I should change my hairstyle. <laughs> I hope I've given you a face to put to the name of the state legislature, and please know that most of us, most, are feeling, thinking, caring human beings, just trying to do what's right for a state full of ranchers, lawyers, accountants, everyone. Thank you.